fellow guys, welcome to another video, hope you all are having a fantastic day, today's video will be very special for you, because today, we are going to see top 5 free games in Steam for a low end PC, if it's your first time watching my videos, let me tell you that this video is the 7th part in this series, and I highly recommend you to watch the other videos. All of the above 5 games are playable with a PC which has 2GB of RAM, a dual cord processor, and any iGPU will do the thing. Before getting into this video, make sure that you have subscribed to our channel, because I make more of these and even better content for gamers. And most importantly, share this video to your low spec buddies. Let's get started, at number 5 spot we have Creativers. Creativers is a unique game which enables players to explore a mysterious realm and to create their own realities along the way. Some users feel that this platform is similar to Minecraft although its graphics are far superior. Unlike many other games offered through Steam, there is absolutely no charge to download and install this software. Thanks to a feature-rich environment, the possibilities and outcomes are nearly limitless. This next-generation sandbox platform requires players to explore various intriguing environments. Examples here include ancient catacombs, immense forests and treacherous caves. There are unique missions built into every level. The user might have to uncover precious minerals, span a lake of lava or unlock building materials. Much like Minecraft, there are more familiar scenarios which include taming animals and creating farms. A streamlined multiplayer function is also excellent when other friends hope to join in on the action. One interesting feature associated with Creativers is that the player will occasionally be required to do battle with opponents. Still, the main point is to build an entirely unique realm with the help of various tools and spells. This game was first released in 2014 and is still one of the most popular sandbox platforms. So, give it a try. At number 4 spot we have War Mode. Imagine as you are stuck in the world defined by two confrontational, irreconcilable sides. Represented by the government military housings, and the armed hirelings. Try your hand at virtual battles with fast-paced gameplay and off-scale dynamics in the spirit of all classic shooter games before. This game is War Mode, and it's available in a wide range of maps and includes several modes. The free-to-play FPS War Mode was developed and published by War Team. It offers stunning graphics as you venture through multiple maps, killing anyone in sight. You will need to be accurate, since everyone else is out to kill you as well. Sight in enemies to master headshots, double kills and triple kills, as you rack up points, and become the most deadly of them all. War Mode may remind you of team damage modes in games like Call of Duty or Counter-Strike. Global Offensive You'll run around maps with the sole objective being to take down your enemies, while managing to stay alive. The game features a very active online community, allowing you to make friends, ask for help and team up to take the enemy down. To help in this quest, the game offers an impressive arsenal of weapons you can take down enemies at close range, with shotguns, or hold back and pop headshots with an assortment of sniper rifles. You will fight across visually distinct and congested maps, where other players are forced into tight corners demanding a quick trigger finger to survive. Customize your character with an assortment of cosmetic items, such as masks, and banners, which will help to distinguish yourself on the battlefield. This game is definitely worth trying if you are a fan of CSGO. At number 3 spot we have America's Army Proving Grounds. Contrary to first impressions, America's Army Proving Grounds is far from being a strong military simulation. Unlike military simulation games like Arma 2, America's Army Proving Grounds is more a fun and fast-paced multiplayer action game reminiscent of Counter-Strike and Call of Duty. You will face teams of 6 to 12 human players in a classic game mode where you will need to capture slash defend objectives, explode slash defuse bombs. On this level, America's Army Proving Grounds is made in the classic game mode and at present it lacks diversity and originality. Everything happens real or quickly in America's Army Proving Grounds. Each match begins with prep time of less than a minute, during which you can communicate with your allies in order to determine the best strategy. 
Once the game has begun, you don't have a second to lose. America's Army Proving Grounds is a FPS where the speed of your reactions will prevail over everything else. Matches follow one after the other in quick succession and you rapidly become addicted to this very successful action game. America's Army Proving Grounds is far from impressive in terms of graphics. The aging textures and game engine fail to impress. However, the animation is good, and all pistons are firing when a team of 12 people crawl towards a target. The audio is also good and the sound effects for the firearms are quite realistic. A microphone slash headset is strongly recommended in order to fully benefit from the experience and communicate with your teammates. America's Army Proving Grounds returns to the classic roots of the multiplayer shooter games, including holding and controlling points with two teams engaged in fast and furious combat. Although the game isn't particularly original, it is very enjoyable and those that like the genre will certainly have fun. America's Army Proving Grounds is entirely free since it's funded by the US Army for promotional purposes. It's worth trying if you are interested in military simulation games. At number 2 spot we have Trove. Trove is a free-to-play MMO with base building and crafting mechanics. Explore a world built of cubes, delving into deep dungeons for hidden loot and build your own base with friends. At its most basic level, Trove is a Minecraft clone with some basic MMO slash RPG combat elements. Gameplay is split between these two inspirations in a fairly organic manner. Players chose a class, fight through randomly and player created levels for gear, join guilds and interact with other players. They can then build a base one cube at a time alone or with others and create their own items via a crafting system. Both the MMO and crafting sides of Trove feed into each other well with progression affecting both systems. The major negative level that the game is the regular free-to-play problems of huge required time investment or expensive microtransactions. Players with thousands of played hours are often lagging behind and complain of the constant changes to the game which seem aimed primarily at extracting money from the dwindling player base. Trove is an interesting game with some fundamental balance issues. New players will have to endure a seemingly endless grind for gear, but will have some fun along the way. Before going into number one spot, make sure that you have subscribed to our channel, as I make more of these and even better videos. Finally at number one spot we have Smite. Smite is a MOBA, multiplayer online battle arena, a mixture of RPG and strategy where players compete in teams of 3 or 5. The game offers many different game modes, arena, conquest, domination, assault, reminiscent of other classics of the genre, along with some innovative gameplay. Smite stands out from the competition, including League of Legends or Dota 2, for its use of mythological themes, 3D graphics, and the abundance of different game modes. At first glance, Smite appears to be just another title in the ultra-saturated ocean of MOBA games. Still, it's managed to become one of the most played MOBAs by implementing a number of original features that give it personality and intrigue. The characters and themes of the game are based on mythological themes that have occurred throughout the history of mankind, and a welcome innovation that creates richness. Compared to the traditional rigidity of MOBA games, Smite shows a fair bit of creativity. You're able to play in different game modes, Conquest, Assault, and Jousting Arena, all of which have their own appeal. There are also other cool new features, such as the worship system, that reward players who dedicate themselves to a particular character. Smite is an undoubted success. The game is well developed and manages to distinguish itself from the multitude of already existing MOBA games, including the hugely popular League of Legends and Dota 2, by providing fun and original gameplay. If you're looking for a smoother, more action-oriented MOBA, Smite is the game for you. So, that's all for today, if you aren't satisfied with just 5 games, don't forget to check out the playlist of low-end PC games, which I linked in the card above. So, thanks for watching guys, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. So, you won't miss our future videos, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.